Hi, this is Jeff Salzenstein, and today's video lesson, we're gonna talk about how you can make a first move on your forehand that may work for you. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up today is that some players and even coaches are locked into just one way of making that first move. And I want to share with you that I feel like you can do things a different way if it feels right for you. So what we're gonna talk about today is going from the ready position and making this first move on the forehand. Now I would say the more conventional or the more modern way to do it would be to start in your ready position right here. Racket tip is up, arms are bent and relaxed. You're holding your semi-western or eastern grip. And when you make the first move, the tip of the racket goes up right away like this. So it's like you're holding a ball. And we talk a lot about this in the Tennis Forehand Solution 2.0 course. So you make the first move and you're holding this ball. Now there's actually a different way to do it. Some players out there actually have the tip of the racket a little bit lower when they're playing. I happen to actually like this way of doing it as well. Both ways can work, you just need to do what works for you. So if the racket tip starts down, instead of going from here and going up like this, you can actually take the racket back a little bit more like this so the, the strings are, cl are closed down, facing towards the ground more. Your elbow is going to come out a little bit more when you do this. So you just have to decide, you have to play around with whether you wanna make your first move like this, or if you wanna make your first move more like this and just see what works for you. Now, when you make this first move with your elbow coming out a little bit more and the tip of the racket down, when you go to swing, you, you're gonna get a lot of play here, which is gonna help you create more racket head acceleration. So again, you need to play around with what works for you. If you like to start a little bit lower, this might work better. So let me show you what this is going to look like when you start with the racket tip down in the ready position and you lead with your elbow back like this and the racket tip stays lower instead of coming up like this. So again, it's a way that you can feel like you keep your racket a little bit lower instead of it coming up like this and you can feel a little bit more compact with a shorter backswing when you do it like this. Okay, now we're gonna focus on one in slow motion. So you can try making that first move with the racket strings facing down to the ground more and your elbow out a little bit more and see if that works for you. If you'd like to add 10 miles per hour to your serve instantly, go ahead and click the button to the right in this video player. I'm really excited to help you transform your serve, so go ahead and click the button to the right and we'll get started helping you with your serve.